Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another figure review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Wild Toys Agent Paul or technically the James Bond Pierce Brosnan figure. Now if you already caught the unboxing you'll know that I was very impressed with the quality of this piece. Now I've never owned anything from Wild Toys or DID Corporation before and I have to say I am very very impressed with what I've seen so far but don't worry we're going to take a much closer look in this full review. Now if you want to pick up your very own Wild Toys Agent Paul or also also, the Roger Moore James Bond figure from DID Corporation. They are both in stock right now in kind of a two-pack sort of combo deal on their website. The link is down in the description below for that. Either way, what we're going to do now is get the figure himself out here and take a look at everything he comes with. Now, as you can see, this Agent Paul figure doesn't come with a hell of a lot of stuff, but I think he comes with the necessities. And the fact that you are getting him sort of bundled in for a two-pack with the Roger Moore and he comes with a hell of a lot of stuff, I think this is just fine. Either way, let's look at the least exciting of the accessories first, and that is the interchangeable hands. Obviously, it does come with some hands. These aren't the most exciting sort of well-painted hands that I've ever seen, but they definitely do the job, which I think is just fine. You can switch them out if you have spares lying around. Now, this pistol is really well done. I haven't done my research, unfortunately, to find out exactly what pistol this is, but it is recreated very nicely. It has the working slide, the little hammer does move backwards and forwards, and the magazine actually comes out really nice and easily, and there is a bullet paint on the inside, just like you'd expect with a 1-6 uh, scale weapon, just like we get from Hot Toys. Either way, that's pretty much it for his accessories. What we're going to do now is get the figure himself out here and take a look at that head skull. And here we have the Agent Paul or Pierce Brosnan and James Bond figure from Wild Toys and I think they have absolutely killed it with the likeness for this figure. Now from some angles it's not 100% perfect. I think from below it doesn't look quite like him but I think from above or from some angles it is definitely dead on. The paintwork is really nice. The sculpt is great. I reckon they have absolutely killed it with this head sculpt. Now he does come in this pose straight out of the box. If you already caught the unboxing you would have seen it. I'm very impressed with the fact that he already comes in a badass pose straight out of the box. That is some next level unboxing experience right there. Now in terms of his outfit, it's a really nicely tailored suit. It does also have some sort of shiny lapels on the front so it mimics a nice tailored suit which I do appreciate. And he also does come with the sort of tuck style shirt. You can see that it's velcroed on there. You can sort of clean that up. Mine just looked like that out of the box but you can sort of move the velcro over a little bit. Now his bow tie is removable if you want to create like an alternate look like an after party James Bond look I guess. You you can take off his bow tie. There was an image on the box with the bow tie removed and you can definitely do that. Now I really like the nice little details on the jacket right down to the tiny little buttons on the little ends of the cuffs there. Really really nice attention to detail by Wild Toys. Now as I said in the unboxing and now in the review I've never picked up anything from this company before but this figure has impressed me so much that I will be on the lookout for anything that they do manufacture in the future. Moving down to his legs as you can see he does come with proper dress shoes with real laces. Now I love it when third party companies or any company actually go to the effort of putting real laces on their shoes. That's a really nice touch. And he also does have real socks which I do like. Now this is another crazy piece of attention to detail. It's the fact that he has these sort of leather style soles on the underside of his shoes. I love that. That is so classy and it is so James Bond. They really did kill it. Now the shoes also are nice and glossy like a patent leather shoe which I do appreciate. Now there's not really too much to talk about down here other than the fact that the pants do sit at a really nice length. Sometimes we get suited figures and the pants are either really too long or really too short, but these just sit just right for this style of suit. Now here we have the Roger Moore James Bond alongside the Wild Toys Pierce Brosnan, just so you can see a quick side-by-side -side height comparison. Now you can see that the Pierce Brosnan figure is just a tiny bit taller, but I don't think it's important to really compare the scales between these two. I just think that it's awesome we're getting two eras of James Bond from one place. I mean, you can order these both from DID Corporation. You can get two eras, as I said, of James Bond, and I absolutely love that. Now, while the Pierce Brosnan figure is lacking some accessories, the Roger Moore figure, which the review is on the way and the unboxing, don't worry, he more than makes up with it in terms of all the stuff he comes with. Just wrapping up on this Wild Toys Agent Paul, this figure is very, very impressive. For the price and the fact that you're getting him bundled in technically with the Roger Moore figure, I think this is a must buy 
for any sort of James Bond fan, and especially if you like Pierce Brosnan, as I know a lot of people do, me included, those movies were a little bit cheesy, but they were also still really good. So I absolutely had to have this figure in my collection. The head sculpt is on point, the paintwork is nice, the tailoring is great, and while he lacks some accessories, as I said, the Roger Moore figure more than makes up for it in terms of all the stuff that he comes with, which you'll be seeing in the full review very soon. So my recommendation, absolutely go ahead and pick this guy up. Now, if you want to do so, there is a link down in the description below to head over to DID Corporation's website. They are both in stock right now in sort of a double pack sort of deal. As I said, link is down below. Now, also check out the brand new Six Scale Network Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, and overall just have a great time sharing awesome pictures of your collection. Also check out MISB Media. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.